All right, this is just another quick update about my um, solar backup generator that I've been that I started on last summer, getting some data on. And well, I got we had other things to deal with this fall, so I never got a chance to work on the trailer and get that started. But anyhow, I've been uh, trying to uh, run a couple freezers off of solar on that cart that I built, and I came to the conclusion that after three to four days with absolutely no sun in the winter um, I've got a problem it has to be switched over to grid power and the inverter that I used was just a, a real cheap inverter and it you know doesn't allow you to do that so I went on YouTube and looked around for kind of like the best uh, inverter at an affordable price to um, to play with next and uh, solve my problem and this is a EG4 3000 watt inverter that I bought and this is a all-in-one system that um, actually comes with the cables you need a circuit breaker for the battery um, communications cables and the Wi-Fi dongle there all one nice little package that allows you to um, have solar input AC out and AC input so when your batteries go dead basically you can it automatically switches over to the AC so it's kind of just like a UPS system. Um, real simple, uh, only a couple connections to wire it up. And you can see the one panel that removes and a couple terminals there for your uh, AC input, your AC out from the inverter, and your, your solar panel input. And there's where your two battery cables go right in there. So it's really simple, self-contained unit, comes with some cables. Uh, the power ones look a little small to me, but um, I'm going to try them. And they just slide right in there, and they've got ferrules crimped on them. And that has those two cables get hooked to the battery. And then for the power output, I had this plug here that I'm going to use. It's a 30 amp RV 120 volt plug um, I'm going to use because this has a 25 amp output, so I figured this will be safe. And this is all temporary, to tell you the truth. Once I get going on the trailer, um, this will all be moved out and used for uh, the barn, probably. So I like to put these little crimp terminals on. I don't know. I bought this set years ago, and uh, these terminals are really great, and they kind of help the connections stay tight and the wires stay together. So it's really just a you know, couple of second thing, extra thing to put them on there, and they do make the connections nicer. And you can see the... Um, the black and the white wires go right in there, the plus and the minus. And then the green ground goes to the stud. So I left that pulled out of the cable, and I'm just going to um, attach that to the ground screw there. After watching some videos, so I found out that you could also attach it to that other ground lug for the input power because it's all bonded together to the frame of this unit. But I decided to do it the way the, the instructions pretty much show you, so... Just a matter of crimping a terminal on that one wire sticking out. And this is going to be my, you know, my temporary AC output. And this will be plugged over into my um, generator input box. So it's really, really simple to, to hook this up. And this will take care of the crossover when the batteries go dead. Um, I did find out, I've been, I'll show you in a second, but I've been running that other system with the freezer on it. And I do, um... I do run out of batteries, so either I need a ton of batteries or I need, um, you know, a ton of batteries and more solar or just a way to switch over to the grid on cloudy days. And this did come with their number six cables for the, um, the power, so I just cut that to put the circuit breaker in. So all set to go pretty much. And I do have an adapter plug here if I want to just plug 120 plugs in there I can use too and this plugs into an outlet to um to provide the power when the uh, battery goes dead and I don't ha I have to still install the solar panels and everything so that you know that'll be in another video when I get to it but this is just getting started and there's a wi-fi dongle that um took me a while to get the software the app working but once I did it worked great well here's that system that I've been running the pole barn on all summer and I moved that inside to run a couple freezers the last couple of weeks 
and I've had excellent luck with it until we got into this really dark, dingy uh, couple of days in a row. And after three days, you pretty much run out of battery power. Um, I didn't really plan on all the inverter draw. There's a lot of vampire draw from these inverters, and um, you know they do cut down your runtime. But you can see on a, a cloudy day, I'm lucky if I get 10 or 11 watts out of the two panels I got out there. So on a sunny day, I'll get a um, thousand watts almost. They do give better wattage when it's cold out. I'm finding out. But these two freezers have been running on it and I uh, had no problem with it. So, you know, pretty much I, I'm getting an idea of exactly what it's going to take to um, to keep everything up. And here's that Wi-Fi dongle that came with the thing. I did design and 3D print a bracket for it. Uh, first go around here, I made a mistake and I didn't leave enough room to wrap the extra cord around it to get rid of that. But I made another add-on there, so that gives me a place to wrap the extra wire so it's out of the way when I install it. So just a quick little, you know, 3D printed thing. It worked out good. So here it is. I just kind of hung it on a steel plate that's fireproof. Uh, this is all totally temporary you know it's only just to um, kind of be a backup if we have a problem now and the Wi-Fi dongle I got working and everything's all ready to go just uh, waiting I ordered some batteries and I'm waiting for them to come here I'm going to put two server rack batteries on here and this is the um, golf cart battery I brought in to just play with to get going but um, that's definitely not permanent so I'll be doing an update, and this, you know, this really does have a lot of um, things that you can customize according to your needs and stuff like that. So it uh, wasn't really that super expensive, and, you know, everybody that's using these things loves them, I'm finding out. So figured I'll, you know, just see see how everything interacts, um, and I'm able to, you know, not worry about running out of battery power. It'll do it automatically, and then it'll switch back over to batteries once the sun charges up the panels and there's the app that comes with it that that did take a while to get going but you could pretty much you know monitor everything going on and like i said i still got some more panels to hook up and stuff but you know i'll keep you updated on the process as i move along on this kind of slowly but surely with other things going on but i just you know really wanted to show you you know where i stand now and um that i'm still playing with this even though I'm, I didn't get a chance to, um, you know, get the trailer completed. So, you know, I'll give this thing a try here, and it looks like it'll, it'll really fit my needs. And there's that Wi-Fi dongle. That, that actually was about the, um, the worst thing, just making a bracket for that. But in the end, it all worked out. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.